early 2021, the Venezuelan government launched its biggest military operation in the country's recent history, in the state of Apure, on the border with Colombia. The target of this military offensive was a dissident faction of the demobilized Marxist guerrilla army of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, more specifically, the 10th Front. The horrors more associated with Colombia's civil conflict spread into Venezuela. Kidnapped soldiers, ambushes and firefights, landmines, mass displacement, and also arbitrary detentions and even extrajudicial executions by the Venezuelan security forces. In late April, guerrillas from the 10th Front ambushed a military patrol. They killed an unknown number of soldiers and they kidnapped eight more. This forced a humiliating retreat for the Venezuelan military. The fighting's now subsided, but the question remains, what was behind the battle for Apure? Colombian guerrillas have been in Venezuela for more than two decades and not as unwelcome guests. They were initially invited by President Hugo Chavez. Chavez saw the guerrillas of the FARC uh, not just as, as allies, but as a strategic bulwark against hostile foreign powers, particularly Colombia and the United States. They also became allies for certain political and military elements in the Venezuelan regime in the interests of drug trafficking. But with Hugo Chavez dead and the FARC having signed a peace agreement with the Colombian government, the old order is gone. There are disputes between different dissident factions of the FARC that emerge from the, from the Colombian rebel army. And there is also competition between different elements of the regime of President Nicolas Maduro. And all of these have focused in Apure and created a tinderbox. The Pax Mafiosa that had long existed in Apure was challenged by the FARC's 10th front, which didn't play according to the rules established by the Venezuelan government. 